everybody. Welcome to the weekly edition of your Boomer Broads. And it is weekly. I don't know if you noticed. This is, is two weeks w in a row. W-E-A-K-L-R-I. <laughs> <laughs> um, today we're Although talking today, about... I'm feeling that way. Oh, we're so are? stressed. We've got so much oh, going on. We're fine. We're blessed. You're busy. What's wrong with that? It's good. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying that. Yes, you're complaining. Oh, I'm yes, just, you are complaining. I'm just a little stressed. Okay. What's new? Ask our new so producer for new? the day how stressed I am. She's been in park in my office all day, poor Lindsay. All day Thank you, Lindsay. Fine. Um, you need to start meditating. You need to do some whole... I'm too you busy need... to meditate. Oh, I'm sorry, I simply to... can't fit it in. You should... I will tell you, I remember after... Emery had a heart attack, right? Many it's years ago. 1998. And as my gift to you, I signed you up for yoga, didn't I? Do you remember? Oh, I do remember. So... The first yoga class comes up, and I say, yeah. and I decided to go with her, because I thought that was motivational and very friendly of me. <laughs> so I said, Emery, the first yoga class is coming. I'm too busy. I can't go. So she didn't go the first one. The second yoga class comes. I literally drag the woman to yoga. And the poor teacher, the poor yogi, says something like, let's go around the a room, and everybody tell me if there's anything physically wrong with you I should know about. So, you know, woman, oh, my shoulder, you know, man, my back, well, this you know, uh, ten minutes from ahead. head to toe. <laughs> ten minutes <laughs> worth of ailments. Everybody part. The poor yogi woman. You know, she's you know, I have the back surgery. Uh, turbinates in my nose. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody understood that one. Rotator cuff broken surgery. Legs. Broken ankles. You know, just unbelievable. I was humiliated. I was on the other side of the room. I didn't want anyone to know I knew her. Um, and so then she finishes this whole litany, and then she stands up and she says, "And listen." I really don't have time for this. I've got to go. <laughs> and that was Anne Marie Eigner's yoga experience. Oh, I went to all 12 classes. I was a busy single mom. Oh, that was hilarious. So much for that. What can so I much for that. Well, anyway, that's not our topic for today. Our topic is actually spurred by this uh, Occupy Wall Street movement that's going on in Occupy Boston. I Occupy love it, Shop, by the way. Chicago. I the love people it. rise, the people revolt. It's great. It reminds me back in the Vietnam War days when, you know, back in the, when, what, what I have been in my high school the 70s, years. The 70s, the yeah, 70s. Yeah, in my high school years, and we marched from, you know, oh, I was down Long there. Island, Absolutely. and we marched in, to Manhattan in Manhattan. It was very Against exciting. Of course. And, was, uh, of and course. can I tell you the honest truth? I heard them being interviewed today, and I said, if I were just, if it weren't raining, and I were just a little younger. And not so stressed. And not so stressed, and if they, you know, Gave me a nice mattress and, you know, <laughs> Time toilet <sensation>. facilities. <laughs> ah, yes, toilet facilities. That's key at this point for boomers. I honestly, I'm very impressed. I think it's the modern day protest, and I really say hats off to you guys. I, I think really it's do. Great. I totally agree with you. I don't, just as marching on Vietnam, I don't think stopped the Vietnam War. I don't think that Wall Street will ever wake up. Wall Street will ever say, oh, we really don't deserve to make all this money. You're right. We're going to give it to the masses. I mean, I don't think it's going to. But I really got raises the visibility you, of the issue. Bank of America is now going to charge me to access my own money? I don't think so. We're going to get I don't think so. I swear to God, I'm going to take my money out of Bank of America. Good. I really Give am. it to the small bank. I will. Go to the small I bank. I will. How dare they? They're going to charge me $60 a month. No, no. A year. $60, $60 a, year. a year. But even that, it's yes. just offensive. It's the principle. It's the it's And offensive. then I loved when they announced it and they said, but we will not charge you for uh, withdrawing money from your bank. Well, thank you very much for not charging me just for withdrawing my, my own money from your bank, debit. which I gave you. <laughs> just to use my debit card. You're the card. best bank of America. You're the best. Anyway. The, and can I be honest with you? In my opinion, they are the culprit. They that well, kind of thinking. The banks is that is the, the banks, problem. the Goldman Sachs, the if brokers. Any, anybody oh who read gosh. Too Big to Fail. There, yes. there you go. Oh, just yeah. read that. Yeah. Or, or I actually or also the show. saw the show. Yeah? I see um, the show. And I would like on the. Subject of money is Don't one way. You have to keep raising your hand. Well, no, this is a point. I'm pointing. This is a point of of. This is. I'm making a point. Okay. <laughs> In case you missed it, um, I would like to tip my hat to Denmark, <laughs> as so many would. <laughs> <laughs> I would if I knew why. <laughs> See, I got you now. No, I think they've come up with a fantastic idea, which I know big government haters will hate. Um, why? Just get to it. What is it? That's the point. They will now charge a fat tax. Oh, that's great. Isn't that that's fantastic? They will tax junk food. 
And I think I believe in sin tax. I believe in fat tax. I mean, listen, if you're going to ruin your body and going to ruin everything about your life, at least pay for it. Pay for pay it. Pay extra for yeah. it. Yeah, you want to well, drink it's like not a fish? And I'm willing. It's I not drink the, like a fish. I'm willing to pay for it's that. It's not the ruining of the body. It's the consequences that we all then have to pay for. Because then we have to pay for you to be in the hospital or pay for you to not have insurance to, you know, because now you have diabetes or now you have yeah. whatever. It's, yeah. it's, that's the, what's offensive Well, I think it's it. brilliant. Think it's, they're smart. Going, it's fantastic. They're going to raise 165 million pounds a year through Which this is, tax. How many dollars? Do you know? No. Okay, that's fine. More, a lot. <laughs> okay, or less. We'll we'll, we'll have our <laughs> we'll, producer. We'll write something it. on the screen <laughs> again. Don't depend on us for any facts, please. This could be wrong too. What I'm reading. Uh, so they're going to the they're going to tax <laughs> the source. It's a news no, or one of those. It might be news. We used to mock. Oh, it's relaxed news. <laughs> We used to mock uh, TMZ, do yeah. you remember that? Yeah, now they're... I the watch them every night now, right. I love them. They're going to uh, tax chips and cookies and milk and smart. oils Very and smart. fatty meats, frozen pizza. And Denmark already banned trans fats in 2004. They are ahead of the curve, and they have one of the lowest obesity rates in the world. Well, that's so now this why. will also... Bring, bring that down. down. Yep. But I think it's a brilliant idea, and I would love to see, which we never will happen in the United States, of course, because the lobbyists because not, the fast you know food why? industry you know why? and the junk food industry will Because nothing never is allow happening happen. in the United States these days. Nothing. <sighs> nothing. All right, so let's talk about our own money. issues. Money. Money. Yes. You and I have a very different view on yes, money, do. don't you think? Yes, what would do. you say our differences are? I say our di differences are fundamental. <laughs> First of all, let's start with that. What would that be? I spend a lot. First of all, I have children you do not. So let's yeah, start yeah, with that. Yeah, yeah, move on from that. Second of all, I They're have gone. no They're inheritance gone. They've been gone you alone. had a little bit of Oh, inheritance. whatever. Move on from that. That's, those are two I, other important things. I'm really good at earning it. I'm not great at keeping it. But you've been very, you and our business manager have been very good at investing, taking my money and, yeah. and, and protecting it. And you like having it protecting, now, don't you? Protecting it from me is basically what you're doing. We, do. we yes, protect you, do. you from yourself. Yes. We do. Yes, you do. You, do. you are a, a, a shopper. Yes, I am. How, Although how I've been much better the past few years. Am I a good shopper? I, the, I can't even talk about it. That's <laughs> a whole other show. absolute worst shopper in probably in America. In the world. All right. I've ever not, met I said anywhere. America. You're going anyway, bigger. and that's why I people probably shopping. think it's very odd that I say, "Oh, that's a jacket I bought for you, and that's a <laughs> shirt I bought from you." For you, I mean, you're, own, you're you won't even go shopping for underwear. It's like it's so pathetic. It I really can't go is. in the store. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I can it's online. online shop. Your sister too. Oh yeah, my sister. And it's not genetic. And because may your I mother just, was a great shopper. My mother loved to and shop. Your Nothing was in broke. Retail. And my father was a, a haberdasher. You figure it out. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is. My, it broke my mother's heart to go shopping with us. You know, we'd come out with maybe just a piece of underwear or a sock, maybe once. <laughs> the poor little darling. And there she was hoarding clothes for herself. She would push it in her closet, and then my father would open the closet, and he would say, is that a new dress? And she said, what are you talking about? I bought that a year ago. But she did, and she just pushed it off the side, and then she'd pull it over a year later so she could, you know. I mean, I'm telling you, the woman was a shop. Okay, so anyway, about oh. money. We're going to talk about money, not shopping, right? Well, money Although and we shopping should, are very related. We should do a whole they? show on shopping. Will, That's a whole other show. But um, this, we is spending, this is spending. This is interesting. Was very interesting. Time magazine. Yes. Has a, the cover today is a, uh, this week. I mean, is about money. We have been quoting this. them a lot lately. No, they've been, they've been doing very some relevant. good work, and yes, I feel bad have. for Newsweek. By the way, come on, Tina, get with it. Um, uh, talk about this. What to stop spending your money? I think that's on, very, think very interesting. And so you could learn from this. And First this of all, factual. So please. One listen. of the other things they say in the in number ten, which I'm going to just mention quickly, is they say that it only takes. That it, don't ask if money can buy happiness because they say basically what is the amount uh, that will at which you can't get any happier and they say that's seventy five thousand dollars. What would it be for you? What do you More think the amount? What would it be? What is the number in your mind if you could make s a few hundred thousand? That would make you happy. Well, only because it would allow me to go on vacation freedom. whenever I want. It gives freedom. You freedom. It's not so much that I need a bigger car. I love my home, so I don't need a bigger home. Um, but it would allow me, it, first of all, to Do help my children. Do you worry about money? I don't. Well, that's I'm great. Blessed. That's great. That's I am, And I'm blessed to have a business partner who does nothing but worry about money. Yeah, it's great. 
I mean, it's really great. I worry for a living. I worry she worries for a living. For a living. It's not easy and it's interesting because she can't shop with peanuts, as she said. She can't. Uh, she can't again, remember right. where her car keys are, but she could tell you where every penny in every account that both of us have. And even business. if they're in her pockets, she can tell you how much was in that it's pocket. It's a dirty job, people. Somebody has to do it. But anyway, but, so, what, so then talk about what to stop yeah, spending your this money. This I thought was interesting because I don't agree with all of this, <clears throat> but some of it I definitely do. The obvious things, bottled water. Yeah, stop doing that. I mean, that's, that's just the stupidest thing of all. And I buy bottled water. Of course, when I'm out and about, I buy bottled water. But I you used buy to buy... You know, cartons of water, and it's just ridiculous. Now you fill it up. Now you I fill, fill up bottle one up bottle up. up. Exactly, exactly. Um, I definitely buy the concept of don't waste your money trying to cure colds with homeopathic stuff. Anything. They really, say the only thing chicken the side <laughs> is chicken soup. Homemade That's chicken soup. Homemade chicken soup is it. Don't and waste a flu your shot. money. And a flu shot. Yeah, which I do get. Um, unlimited cell phone minutes. Now, for someone like you, I don't know that I... For me, oh my God, I barely speak on the phone. I don't like to talk. I don't like people. But, but, but I'm you probably, probably... But, uh, that said, I got rid of my landline. I'm like, that's stupid. Why do I need a landline yeah. anymore? No. Yeah. Even though it's a bit inconvenient, yeah. it takes a little getting used to, but I got rid of it, I and I'm happy I did. I have one still. And now that they allow you to take your um, number with you, wherever you want, mm -hmm. um, I'm happy as can be mm. with my unlimited cell phone. Oh, very good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. And then they talk about, now this is something that I don't believe in, all these extra insurances that yeah. are out there. Credit card. Credit card insurance. Do you buy, for example, if you buy a new TV, do you buy the two-year? No. I do not. Because if that TV's breaking, we all know what year it will be. Three. Yes. Oh, totally. Well, plus, if you buy the five year, it'll be six. That's okay. Um, I mean, I'll take the I chances. did it once, and I just felt like that was an extra two or three hundred dollars that was totally washed out. Well, the lottery wallet. tickets. You buy a lot. You love lottery. I love lottery tickets. And but we, it's not like we spend a crazy. lot on them. No, I don't go crazy. And I don't count on them. them. For my income. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> really, that's a bad addiction. Well, that's I don't not want to upset addiction. you, Emery, but our time our almost up. is almost up. But we didn't even talk about this, which and I think is interesting. It is interesting. So let's quickly Just talk quickly, about Just quickly, we'll show you. It's quite the pie chart. Yeah, look we'll at the Time Magazine. It's interesting. Very interesting. It talks about what the average American spends. The average American who makes, uh, buys $3,700 worth of goods and services per month, according to Time Magazine. That's your average American. You or are above, above average. average, of course. I would be above average. But the way it's divvied up is very interesting. And it really goes into specifics. Mm -hmm. I mean, I definitely agree. Obviously, most of us spend the most, their most money on housing. Right. And health makes yep. sense. Uh, I think I spend an inordinate amount of money on food. And hair products. <laughs> Oh, I wish you hadn't mentioned. And nails. I don't know what I'm doing. Why am I... A massage. I mean, I have been thinking about what I have been spending on me. Yourself. I don't know what's happened to me. Shame it's on you. I, I, I agree Seriously. With you. And where's charity on this list? I think it's in there somewhere. It's, it's not, not though. It's not. Really? If it is, it's one of these very small, small sections. And the other good. thing that it says it's interesting Less than is wine. And I'm spending a lot <laughs> on wine, too. It is that we don't um, go out as much, and we don't travel overseas as much, and we don't go to, like, sporting events because the tickets are so ridiculous, yeah. and we hate our teams as, anyway, for the most part. You know it. Um, except for the Bruins. Bruins! Well, oh, they get their Stanley yeah. Cup tonight. Got, that's right. They get their uh, rings tonight. I mean, they get their rings tonight. Very exciting. Um, but they say that connectivity, we still spend a lot on the cell phone and the email internet, and the internet. Cable. Because we want to stay connected. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we communicate differently than we did in years ago. So it's, I think it's very, it's actually very interesting. It is. It is. Except and that so, I didn't really want to know all the specifics. But I know. Well, you don't like to look at your, you don't like to look deeply into yourself. Uh, not my money self. That's heavy. We're going to end on that note. <laughs> you mull that one over. All right. It's not true. All don't right. We're going to go off and mull deeply into ourselves. <laughs> and speak with you next week. Bye.